Hey guys, I have started adding a wax seal to my handwritten letters that I mail out. And by no means am I good at this yet. But this is just day five. Um, but I'm going to show y'all how I do it. And hopefully I won't catch anything on fire. Haven't done that yet. Um, but anyway, it is a lost art. And back in the day, this is how they sealed up um, letters so they would know that no one had tampered with it but between the time that it was sent and then it was delivered. And like kings and such, they had their own um, seal that represented them. And this is just a generic one, of course. This is a cross. And um, so this is the stamp. This is my wax. It looks like a candle. And then, of course, you'll need a lighter. Um, I bought the seal, and it came with... I think three things of wax and I got it at Hobby Lobby and um, I was gonna say I used my 40% off but I didn't it was actually half off that day so it probably cost me about seven dollars and this is like pretty heavy it's got like a the brass tip on it and then it's got the wooden handle so this is my letter um, and I've tried to start getting the cross where it faces the right way doesn't always happen. All right. It does make me a little bit nervous because I've just not gotten, you know, gotten this down just yet. But this is what you do. So you'll light the candle or the wax and it'll start to melt. And then once it starts to melt, you can go ahead and blow it off, blow the candle out, the light out, and it'll still drip just a, a few seconds. So, and then I have another one to do. I mail two letters every day. Um, I've got a goal to mail out 50 handwritten letters each month so if I do two a day I've exceeded my goal so there may be some days that I don't make it but anyway so ah, here we go so I'm just lighting it and then I'll kind of tilt it at an angle I hope y'all can see this okay and it went out and it does make a lot of smoke I will tell you that So, and you want it to drop the wax where the envelope closes. Okay, and it's going to put the glob of wax on there. And you just press down. And voila. That's it. And then it will harden, like, pretty quickly. Okay. So I'm going to do one more. That one kind of dropped some fire on my envelope, so I had to blow that out really quickly. You can just kind of dab it on there. But you want to work fairly quickly. that's it that is how you put on a wax seal so let this um, cool off for a second before you lay it down because you don't want to get the wax on anything I will tell you this it's kind of like um, a glue gun in that if you accidentally get this on something it kind of becomes stringy a little bit and you can kind of scratch it off if it happens to get on your envelope where you didn't want it to um, like there's a little bitty dot right here beside it um, most of the time you can just kind of scratch it off. It may little, leave a little bit of a color right there, but if you happen to drizzle some somewhere else, most of the time you can get it back off. So anyway, just thought I would share what I'm learning. You know, um, that's the only way we can learn more stuff is if people share. So anyway, hope y'all have a great day. Bye guys.